All right, so today we're actually going to talk about two things that I got a lot of questions from my patients about. Um, this is in regards to insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes and weight gain. Now, if you look at it physiologically, and that means you're looking at how the body responds to this big word here, right, stress, it'll actually give us a very easy understanding of why we get this problem. So when our body is under stress, and we can see over here on the initial stress adaptation, our brain, this little guy, or big depending on how we are, um, needs different things. And it needs three different things. It needs glucose, it needs stimulation, and it needs oxygen. And if we go in stress, the stimulation is high, but the glucose and oxygen are what's needed. So what does our body do? It causes us to start breathing deeper. So people, when they're really stressed, they'll hyperventilate. The other thing it'll do is cause us to need glucose or sugar. Now, if we didn't just eat, our glucose levels are not going to be high enough to deal with the stress or the intake that we need. So what does our body do? It does a thing called gluconeogenesis. What does that mean? It takes glycogen in the uh, liver and turns it into glucose and then pumps it up. But the thing is, as it pumps it up, it'll keep using it. So the liver will keep producing the sugar because it keeps needing the stress. And then what does the body do? It needs to store it as well. So the next thing it kicks in is the pancreas and will produce insulin. So we're pumping insulin and glucose continually through the day. So the concept that type 2 diabetes comes from what we eat doesn't make sense because we're not eating or drinking sugar every 20 minutes to half an hour. What we are is getting stressed every 20 minutes to half an hour. So we push up the sugar get it to the brain, the brain's happy, and then we don't need it anymore because the stress response is gone, and then we gotta push up the insulin. So the insulin will be pushed up, and the easiest fat to be absorbed is actually central penal, it means around your tummy, so that's why we see these people with the muffin tops or the, 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 the big tummies, because they're literally pushing it up. So if you wanna get rid of your type two diabetes and get rid of your tummy fat, you literally need to decrease your stress because then you won't keep pushing the sugar up and you won't need to keep causing the insulin to be produced. And it's really that simple. So what we do in here in neurological based chiropractic is we, through the brain, train the body to decrease the stress and deal with the stress response in a more adaptive fashion. Because instead of being under a chronic stress response, we allow the body to deal with it quickly and get rid of it quickly and not to have this huge adaptation that leads to the diseases. So when we talk about neurological based chiropractic and how it will affect that insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes and weight loss, what that means is if you look over here when it says acute, it means beta function and that's stress function. When you're in beta function, you are in stress or you're learning really quickly. But the problem is, is in America, we live in high beta or high brainwave activity. What we do here in neurological based care is we actually train the brain to come down into an alpha or a relaxed state. And when you're in that state, your body cannot be in stress. This is why we hear things about how if you meditate and relax, it's going to make you be healthier. I agree with that. The problem is, is most people are so high in beta or stress function that it's impossible for them by themselves to get into alpha. So that deep breathing and the meditation, it just doesn't happen because they're so stressed. They go, okay, I'm going to meditate. <sighs> okay, what's the kids doing? What's this? What's that? Everything just rambles around because the brain doesn't calm down. If you're somebody who, say, grinds their teeth or has bruxism or something like that, that literally means your brain is such a, stuck on such a high beta or stressed state that when you fall asleep, for it to allow itself to stay in that state, it causes you to grind the teeth so we actually shut down the nerve that causes you to calm down, which is the vagus nerve. Because the, the, the facial and trigeminal nerve actually shut down the vagus nerve and stop you from working properly. So that's why you would grind your teeth or have those issues. So what we do is through stimulation of the brain, the chiropractic adjustment, we actually upgrade the processing center in the brain. That means you can deal with stress faster. We also cause what's called neurulation or new nerve growth process quicker. 
So the adjustment will actually stimulate new neuron growth, and we can show that through the adjustment, and I sh in my office we do EEGs, and we can show that the brain will actually go from beta to alpha in a millisecond through the adjustment. So the adjustment is a system reset and brings you down into alpha or relaxation. Now when you're in relaxation, this stuff can't happen. And if that doesn't happen, then you don't have that insulin response, that big change. You don't have the liver response, that big change, and your body starts to heal. And then when you have the proper hormone production, because the brain also controls your uh, pituitary, and that that's the master gland, then you'll start getting the right hormone levels. And when you have the right hormone levels, then we'll start seeing changes to different functions, because you'll start seeing changes to estrogen, progesterone, a testosterone, all these different levels, because a lot of people talk about gaining weight because they lose testosterone. Gaining weight because they're getting older and age doesn't have anything to do with it. It has to do with chronic stress that has caused you to get that way. So when your body does come down into that relaxed state, then it can heal. So that's the first thing we do. And then we also have multiple bio and neural feedback methods. I actually have five of them that we use. And then we also have a thing called mind tap. And what that is, is a way to entrain your brain or teach your brain to stay in an alpha state, and then your body heals. This healing takes over because the only thing that will truly heal you is your intelligence of your body, which is called innate intelligence. It is never a drug, pill, potion, or lotion that will never heal you. It will treat a symptom, and this is what I'm gonna tell you. A symptom is a downstream problem from your brain. The only way you will get a symptom is because you created it because your body cannot adapt. If you cannot adapt, you will grow dysfunction. So if you cannot adapt, and you keep not adapting for a long period of time, you grow the problem. You go, well, how did I get arthritis? Well, you learn to adapt like this and walk around crooked for a while, and then you got arthritis or your knees, or different things like that. It's the inability to adapt that causes all or if not all diseases. So what we do is train the brain to adapt and adapt quicker. And the ability to adapt means that stress only affects you for a short term, and not a long term. And if you look at this, short term adaptation is OK, because that's going to be a short term. It's going to be 25 minutes, maybe an hour or less. But long term adaptation is where most diseases that our Western culture deals with.